Consumer decision making is significantly influenced by advertising, but India's advertising laws have not been strictly enforced. Hello and welcome to MindSync, your compliance guard. I am Swati from MindSync. The Central Consumer Protection Authority released guidelines for prevention of misleading advertisements and endorsements for misleading advertisements 2022 to address the problem of misleading advertising. These new regulations are now binding law and must be followed. MindSync has come up with this video on covering all the latest updates with respect to the guidelines released by CCPA on eliminating false advertisements. Central Consumer Protection Authority CCPA is a regulatory body established in 2020 based on the provisions of the Consumer Protection Act 2019. CCPA works under the administrative control of the Department of Consumer Affairs under Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. CCPA regulates matters relating to violation of rights of consumers, unfair trade practices, and false or misleading advertisements prejudicial to interests of public and to safeguard the rights of consumers. Consumer Protection Act 2019 is an act to provide for the protection of consumers' interests and for that purpose to establish authorities for the timely and effective administration and settlement of consumer disputes as well as for matters connected therewith or incidental thereto. CCPA has notified guidelines for prevention of misleading advertisements and endorsements for misleading advertisements 2022 with an objective to curb misleading advertisements and protect the consumers who may be exploited or affected by such advertisements. The guidelines seek to ensure that consumers are not being fooled with unsubstantiated claims, exaggerated promises, misinformation, and false claims. Such advertisements violate various rights of consumers such as right to be informed, right to choose, and right to be safeguarded against potentially unsafe products and services. In exercise of the powers conferred by Section 18 of the Consumer Protection Act 2019 to CCPA, the guidelines were notified on 9 June 2022. The guidelines as for celebrities, influencers, and virtual influencers on social media platforms. The guidelines are applicable to all individuals or organizations with access to an audience and the ability to influence that audience decisions to purchase or form an opinion about a good, service, brand, or experience as a result of the influencer's or celebrity's expertise, position, or connection to that audience. Misleading advertisement has already been defined under Section 2 Subsection 28 of the Consumer Protection Act 2019. Misleading advertisement in relation to any product or service means an advertisement which falsely describes such product or service or gives a false guarantee to or is likely to mislead the consumers as to the nature, substance, quantity or quality of such product or service or conveys an express or implied representation which, if made by the manufacturer or seller or service provider thereof, would constitute an unfair trade practice or deliberately conceals important information. Bait advertisement is an advertisement in which goods, product, or service is offered for sale at a low price to attract consumers. For instance, the auto dealer will frequently run an advertisement claiming to have a small quantity of a particular model of vehicle that they will sell at an incredibly low price. When a customer comes into the dealership to inquire about their offer, the dealership will state that all motor vehicles at that price point have been sold, but there are similar cars on the lot. Endorser includes an individual or a group or an institution making endorsement of any goods, product, or service in an advertisement whose opinion, 
belief, finding, or experience being the message which such advertisement appears to reflect. Surrogate advertisement is an advertisement for goods, product, or service, whose advertising is otherwise prohibited, or restricted by law, by circumventing such prohibition, or restriction, and portraying it to be an advertisement for other goods, product or service, the advertising of which is not prohibited, or restricted by law. Surrogate advertising is a type of marketing, that imitates the branding of one product, to market another under the same brand. In general term, surrogate means substitute. Typically, brands will advertise a prohibited product, as a replacement using surrogate advertising. A common example of this is, a liquor product that is advertised as a soda drink. The new guidelines covers all advertising, or marketing communications regardless of form, format, or medium. These guidelines are applicable to the manufacturer, service provider, or trader, whose goods, products, or services, are the subject of the advertising, or marketing communications, as well as to advertisement agency and endorser of the product or service. The new guidelines outline who must disclose, when to disclose, and how to disclose. Celebrities, famous personalities, including but not limited to entertainment or sports industry, who have the power to affect the decisions or opinions of their audience. Influencers, creators, who advertise products and services with a strong influence on the purchasing decisions or opinions of their audience. Virtual influencers, fictional computer-generated people or avatars who have realistic characteristics, features and personalities of humans and behave in a similar manner as influencers. They all have to disclose in their endorsement. The disclosure must take place where there exists a connection between the endorser and the trader, manufacturer, or advertiser of the endorsed product that might materially affect the value or credibility of the endorsement and the connection is not reasonably expected by the audience. Such connection shall be fully disclosed in making the endorsement. Material connection could include but is not limited to benefits and incentives such as monetary or other compensation. Free products with or without any conditions attached, including those received unsolicited, discounts, gifts, contests, and sweepstakes entries, trips or hotel stays, media barters, coverage, and awards, or any family, personal, or employment relationship. An advertisement shall be considered to be valid and not misleading, if it contains truthful and honest representation, it does not mislead consumers by exaggerating the accuracy, scientific validity, or practical usefulness, or capability, or performance, or service of the goods, or product. It does not present rights conferred on consumers by any law as a distinctive feature of advertisers offer. It does not suggest that the claims made in such advertisement are universally accepted if there is a significant division of informed or scientific opinion pertaining to such claims. It does not mislead about the nature or extent of the risk to consumers' personal security or that of their family if they fail to purchase the advertised goods, product or service. It ensures that the claims that have not been independently substantiated, but are based merely on the content of a publication, do not mislead consumers. It complies with the provisions contained in any other sector-specific law and the rules and regulations made thereunder. If any occasional and unintentional lapse in the fulfillment of an advertised promise or claim occurs while carrying out mass manufacture, and distribution of goods, products and services, such an intentional lapse may not invalidate the advertisement, provided, such promise or claim is capable of fulfillment, by a typical specimen of the product advertised. The proportion of product failures is, within the generally acceptable limits. 
the advertiser has taken prompt action to make good the deficiency to the consumer. Free claim advertisement shall not describe any goods, product, or service to be free, without charge, or use such other terms, if the consumer has to pay anything, other than the unavoidable cost of responding, to such advertisement, and collecting, or paying for the delivery of such item. An advertisement shall make clear the extent of the commitment that a consumer shall make to take advantage of a free offer. Free claim ad shall not describe an element of a package as free if such element is included in the package price. The advertisement shall not use the term free trial to describe a satisfaction or your money back offer or an offer for which a non-refundable purchase is required. Free claim advertisements shall not describe any goods, product or service to be free if the consumer has to pay for packing, packaging, handling, or administration of such free goods, product, or service. The cost of response, including the price of goods, product, or service which the consumer has to purchase, to take advantage of such offer, has been increased, except where such increase results, from factors unrelated to the cost of promotion. The quality, or quantity of the goods, product, or service that a consumer shall purchase, to take advantage of the offer has been reduced. After taking into account the rise in the use of social media, for marketing initiatives that goes beyond print, or electronic media, or advertorials. The guidelines specified major disclosures requirements, to be followed by every social media influencers. Disclosures of the endorsement should be placed in the endorsement message in such a manner that they are clear, prominent, and extremely hard to miss, and it should not be mixed with a group of hashtags or links. Simple and clear language should be used. On limited space platforms like Twitter, terms such as XYZ Ambassador, where XYZ is a brand, are also acceptable. Terms such as advertisement or ad sponsored paid promotion or paid should be used for all sort of endorsements. Disclosures and endorsements should be in the same language. Separate disclosures shall be made apart from platform disclosure tools. In endorsement in a picture, disclosures should be superimposed over the image enough for viewer to notice. In video, Disclosures should be placed in the video, and not just in the description, and should be made in both audio and video format. In the case of live stream, disclosures should be displayed continuously, and prominently during the entire stream. Every manufacturer, service provider, advertiser, or advertising agency, to whom these guidelines apply, shall ensure that. All descriptions, claims, and comparisons made in an advertisement that are related to matters of objectively verifiable facts must be established and provided upon request by the central authority. When claims in the advertisement are expressly stated to be based on or supported by such independent research or assessments, the advertisement shall specify the source and date of the research or assessment in question. A person, firm, or institution may not be mentioned in an advertisement in a way that unfairly benefits the product being promoted or that tends to discredit or ridicule the mentioned person, firm, or institution unless the advertiser has first obtained permission from the mentioned individual, firm, or institution. It is prohibited for advertisements to make claims or use visuals that could mislead consumers about the advertised product, the advertiser, or any other product, or advertiser, either directly, or indirectly, by omission, ambiguity, exaggeration, or any of the aforementioned factors. Advertisement is so framed as not to, abuse the trust of consumers, or exploit their lack of experience, or knowledge, and for this purpose, instead of claiming, up to five years guarantee, or, prices as low as such amount, 
such advertisements must clearly state a product's fixed guarantee period or the product's fixed price. If the product has different guarantee periods for different parts or components, the advertisement must also clearly state the minimum and maximum guarantee periods that apply to each part or components. If such advertisements offer the possibility of gifts or invite viewer to participate in lotteries or prize competitions allowed by any law in force, they must clearly outline all relevant terms and conditions to give viewer a realistic understanding of their chances in such activities. Given that such outright lies or exaggerations intended to amuse or attract customers are acceptable under the condition that they are clearly understood as humorous or hyperbolic and not likely to be understood as making literal or deceptive claims for the advertised product. General, the term due diligence refers to an examination of verified facts or specific details regarding a subject under consideration. According to CCPA guidelines, an endorser should exercise due diligence for the products or services they advertise before they choose to lend their name and credibility. The guidelines provides that due diligence is required to be conducted before endorsing the advertisements. Moreover, the endorsement in an advertisement must be genuine and based on the adequate information about or experience with the identified goods, product, or service, and shall not be deceptive. The endorsement should depict reasonably current opinion of the individual or group or organization while making such representation. It is also recommended that the product and service must have been actually used or experienced by the endorser. Foreign professionals, who is not a citizen of India, of the same profession, shall not be permitted to make endorsements in such advertisements where Indian professionals of the same profession, whether resident in India or otherwise, are prohibited by any law in effect from doing so. Consider a toothpaste company that advertises its products with an Indian origin doctor. The Dental Association forbids its members from endorsing such products so professionals cannot be displayed. But later, the advertisers hired foreign professional doctors. These types of endorsement are prohibited by the new regulations. Any violators who fails to disclose any material connections or who fails to comply with the Consumer Protection Act 2019 and its rules will be liable for strict action under the law. There is no mention of a penalty for violating the guidelines. If there are any violations, the penalty prescribed for misleading advertisements under the Consumer Protection Act 2019 will be applicable. In that case, the CCPA can impose a penalty of up to Rs 10 lakh on manufacturers, advertisers and endorsers for any misleading advertisements. And for repeated offences, a penalty of up to Rs 50 lakh can be imposed. In addition to the above penalties, CCPA can also prohibit the endorser of a misleading advertisement from making any endorsement for up to one year and for subsequent contravention, prohibition can extend up to three years. Stay tuned with MindSync to get all the latest updates. Get in touch with us for all your business compliances. Thank you.